Okay, welcome to another video for Global Scholarship for International Students. And today we'll be covering Korea University Undergraduate Admissions and Scholarship. And the process for admission and scholarship are all included in this video because the application for scholarship is included in the admission process, so you don't have to separately apply for a scholarship um, if you um, apply for admission. In Korea University, as an international undergraduate, they will automatically consider you for scholarship. So we're, today we're going to begin, exit the presentation, and begin on the uscollegeinternational.com. And we're going to search Korea University. So after searching for Korea University, we're going to scroll down and click on the Korea University Scholarship 2019. And after clicking on that, we're going to scroll down until we come down to Korea University Scholarship Undergraduate page. So click on that. And after clicking on that, it's going to lead you to a scholarship section. And as you can see, the selection procedure is automatically selected without any application during the document screening period. So you just have to apply for admission in order to get the scholarship. And as you can see, Scholarship A is full tuition for four years. And there is also Scholarship B, 50% of tuition for four years. So we're going to go through the application process for the Korea Scholarship. And we're going to click on the Application Guide and click on the International Student. So Application Guide, since refreshment, we're going to click on the Application Guide Download for English. And... And as you can see, you need to complete the online application for um, for fall 2019, which is right here, March 12 to March 18, 2019. Um, you need to do the online application and pay the application fee with the online document and before the deadline. Okay. So because this is a start, this is the online application. This is the first of the online application. We're just going to look at the first step and the other steps is up to you. So let's go to, let's first look at the application guide. Um, we're going to look at the application timeline, fields of study, eligibility and requirement and the application procedure. But you're going to look at everything else because you're required to look at all the application guides, but we're going to um, look at the first four parts to it. So uh, application timeline is shown here, and we're going to do the first step together, and the rest of the step are on your own. Um, as you can see, the fields of study, um, the available fields of study is listed right here. And if we scroll down even more, it has the important eligibility requirements. So the main thing is that the applicants and the applicant parents must be non-Korean citizens, so they should not be holding a Korean, Korean citizenship. And you must complete primary and secondary education. And it has all the legal stuff down below, important notes about citizenship and academic requirements. And as you can see, um, it requires um, uh, proficiency tests for Koreans. Um, you need to, if you want to get taught in Korean, you need to have, take the test of proficiency in Korean. And if you want to get taught in English, you need to either take TOEFL, IBT, or IELTS. And it has the application procedure down below. So we're going to go through the first step. Access the online application website through the OIA korea.ac.kr so as you can see um application students fall semester you just click on apply and after clicking on apply um you need to make an account for this in order to do the rest of the application process so we're just going to go through that application guide is the same as um uh the application guide is the same as this one so you need to read this and make sure you read thoroughly through the application procedure and the prospectus. So we're, since we're doing the first step, we're just going to go st roll straight down. 
and we're going to click on proceed to the application. So before we go through the application page, um, you need to consent to this. Yeah, I have read and understood all contents of the application guide and wish to continue to apply to Korea University as an international student. Since we did that, we're going to click on OK. And as you can see, it forces you to make a login. So since we didn't make one yet, we're going to click on um, English first. And we're going to click on Sign Up. So I'm just going to go through it quickly. And I do not have a mobile phone number, scholarship binder. I'm just going to put in random 11 for, and I'm just going to put in my email address. And um, ID is um, something that is, is similar to a user's name. So it needs to be um, different for every person. So it needs to say valid ID instead of other people using it instead of to pass this. So after making your ID, um, you need to confirm it. And I'm just going to make up my password. And date of birth, mail. I don't have to fill this in because I said I don't have a phone number. Um, and click on confirm. So as you can see, the registration is complete. So after going on to the home page, I'm just going to exit this um, and go back to um, go back to my page that I left off with on this page. Um, if you come back to this page, um, you're going to have your ID already logged in. So I'm just going to go down, proceed to the application. Since I'm already logged in, um, I'm going to click on Foreigner. And um, since we don't have the alien registration number, I'm just click on this. And I'm just click on I agree and click on apply. So it's going to give you um, confirmation. If this is correct, you're just going to click on OK and it um, and it changed to Korean. So if you don't understand this, just follow my lead. So we're going to scroll down. Um, we're going to click on Agree for all of them. But make sure to read through because I'm just going to go quickly through the application process so, to make sure that you're not bored out. So make sure you read through all of that. And... As you can see, um, it requires all this information about your family, personal information, and I'm just going to go through it one by one. Um, application type, um, major requirements, and if you click on one, it's going to make sure that you need to fill in all the scores for it. And it's going to make sure it's going to require you to fill out all this information and your family background, your family background too. And for this educational history, you're gonna fill out one for the high school, you're gonna fill out one for your middle school, and you're gonna fill out one for the elementary school because it wants all of your um, information, um, academic background. So after filling out all this, um, you're gonna fill out, uh, upload a photo of yourself, and you're going to save and move to this next step. Because I already been to the next step, the next step is um, paying your application fee. So after moving to the next step, you're going to pay your application fee. And after that, you're finished. So as you can see, this is um, very long <laughs> compared to what I have explained. Because you need to fill out every one of those information. And probably after paying the application fee, there might be additional steps, but there you go. That is it. Um, as you can see, the application process for admission um, also includes scholarship application. So don't worry about scholarship application after doing your admission process. And I hope this helps, and I'll see you in the next video.